In this video, we will see how to get an equivalent circuit of a transformer when OC and AC test results are given. First, let me draw the phasor diagram of a transformer on no load. This is the reference. Along the reference, the flux phi m is taken and I magnetizing current will be in phase with phi m and the current core loss component current will make an angle 90 degrees with the magnetizing current. Taking the resultant of these two, we will get the current I0. Along IC, we will have the voltage V. And the angle between V and I0 is phi0. Let me call the triangle as OAB. From the triangle OAB, we can write cos phi0 is equal to adjacent by hypotenuse. That is OA divided by OB. And that is equal to OA is equal to OB into cos phi OC, where OA is nothing but IC. IC is equal to IOC into cos phi OC. Similarly, the magnetizing current is given by I magnetizing is equal to IOC into sin phi OC. We are determining the shunt parameters that is R0 and X0 where R0 is equal to applied voltage by current flowing through that that is IOC divided by IC and XO is equal to VOC divided by I magnetizing from SC test WSC is equal to ISC square into R E H V because the SC test is conducted on the HV side or it can also be written as ISC square into R E 2 that is equivalent resistance of transformer referred to the secondary or R E 2 is given by WSC divided by ISC square Total impedance, equivalent impedance referred to secondary side Z E2 is equal to voltage during SC test and the current during the SC test. Next we can find equivalent reactance referred to the secondary as XC2 is equal to square root of Z E2 square minus R E2 square. The resistance and the reactances are mentioned here is, is with respect to HV side that we can shift to the LV side by using the formula RE1 is equal to RE2 divided by K square. Similarly, XC1 can be written as XE2 divided by K square. Now, we can represent all these quantities on the equivalent circuit of a transformer. This is an equivalent circuit of a transformer. This is the shunt, shunt element or not. Current flowing through that is IC. This is a shunt element X0. Current flowing through that is magnetizing current. The input voltage is V1. The sum of IC and I magnetizing current is I0. Equivalent resistance referred to the primary equivalent reactance. The secondary voltage is V2 dash. Now I am going to use the same formulas for solving this problem. First, let me calculate cos phi OC. Cos phi OC is equal to WOC divided by VOC into IOC. WOC is 360 watts, VOC is 200, and IOC is 6.2. That is equal to 0.29. And IC is equal to IOC into cos phi OC 6.2 into 0.29. That is equal to 1.8 amperes. Similarly, I magnetizing. I magnetizing is equal to IOC sine of cos inverse of 0.29. Sine phi OC is 0.95. That is equal to 5.9. 3 amperes. Next we will calculate R0. R0 is equal to VOC divided by IC. That is equal to VOC is 200 divided by 1.8. That is equal to 
1 1 ohms next x naught x naught is equal to v o c divided by i magnetizing that is equal to 200 divided by 5.93 33.7 ohms impedances of a transformer referred to hv side that is wsc is equal to isc square into equivalent resistance that is re on hv side rewriting the o equation that is re on hv side is equal to WSC divided by ISC square. Substituting the values, WSC as 600 and ISC is 18, that is 18 square. And RE on HV side is equal to 1.85 ohms. Equivalent impedance referred to the HV side is equal to VSC divided by ISC. VSC is 75 volts and ISC is 18 amperes. 75 divided by 18 that is equal to 4.167 ohms. Now we will calculate Xe on HV side that is the reactance referred to the HV side. Xe on HV is equal to square root of ZHV square minus Re HV square 4.167 square minus 1.85 square that is equal to 3.73 ohms. Let me find the same values with respect to LV side that is Re and LV side is equal to Re by HV side divided by K square where K, where K is equal to secondary voltage divided by the primary voltage that is here the secondary voltage is 2000 by 200 that is equal to 10 hence re and lv side is equal to 1.85 divided by 10 square that is equal to 0 0.0185 ohms similarly x equivalent referred to lv side is equal to xc on hv side divided by k square that is equal to 3.73 divided by 10 square equal to 0 0.03 7 8 ohms. Now let us substitute everything in the equivalent circuit. V1 is equal to 200 volts or not that is equal to triple 1.11 ohms. Next X naught 33.7 ohms. I magnetizing current is 5.93 amperes and IC is 1.8 amperes. The sum of these two currents are I0, this is I1, I2 dash, or E1 referred to LV side, that is equal, that is equal to 0 0.0185, this is XE1, that is equivalent to 0 0.0373 ohms, and the voltage is V2 dash.